Here's another awesome feature of the new Edgeo application platform. It's all the information that you can get in real time about the health of your application. Um, here's Mockaroo.com, and you can see uh, from the overview page we get an overview of traffic, including a breakdown of all the different response codes in the ratio that they exist. So you can see it's like mostly green, which is 200s, uh, 300s, which are like redirects, that's uh, blue, um, a little spike in 400s here, um, and then a very minimal amount of 500s that you can't quite see unless you actually turn off the rest of these. Then you can see the 500s, but they get drowned out by the good stuff. So Makaru, generally healthy. Uh, you have a chart dedicated entirely to errors here as well, and you can see the only specific error code that I'm getting is a 500. Um, you can see when the changes in configurations were made. Those are these vertical lines. So this was my uh, deployment of configuration version 3. Uh, you can see the cache hit ratio uh, here as well. So you can see it's hovering around 77% uh, for the entire site, which is good because not everything on Makaru is cacheable. I'm not doing any prefetching right now, so that's why that chart is blank. Um, so that's for the Makaru.com website. Let's look at the Makaru APIs. Uh, if we switch over here, we can see that. So. Uh, a little bit different picture. You can see a lot more red here. Um, that's probably partially due to the just chaotic nature of people connecting to Makaru's APIs, um, partially due to probably some unfixed bugs in Makaru. Um, but let's see if we can uh, use the Edgeo console to get a bit more information about what's going on here with these 500s. So the way to do that is to go to the environment, and then if you click Edge Insights, uh, you get this wonderful tool for digging through logs for every request in real time. And the significance of that is normally tools like that are bought from a third party and are very expensive because of the amount of data they need to ingest. So uh, things like Splunk, Sumo Logic, or open source solutions like uh, Elasticsearch are you know, either difficult to set up or very expensive to run. And so as a customer of Edgeo, you don't need to actually do any of that for all the data flowing through Edgeo. We give you a great tool called Edge Insights that allows you to um, analyze those logs in real time. So uh, this is the access logs view. Uh, there's a bunch of other views in here as well, uh, things like Bot Manager, WAF Alerts, um, there's a downsampled access logs that uh, shows uh, data for seven days. This access logs data source shows all requests, uh, but only for the last six hours. Um, if we wanted to get a breakdown of the different types of responses, we can go to the pie chart section here, and actually one of the ones selected by default is HTTP status code. If you click on any of these slices, it'll filter everything down to just those uh, status codes. So 500, it adds the filter over here, and then everything you see in the timeline is all 500 responses. Um, if you scroll down, you can see where they're coming from. Uh, and then if you scroll down further, you can see the individual requests. So even if a thing only happens you know, once in a blue moon, you can still get a lot of data about that one occurrence just by clicking here, you can see there's almost too many fields to kind of visually scroll through. It's a very rich set of information, but there's a quick little search that you can use here to find stuff. So if, like, if I wanted to know the caching status, just search for cache, and then you can see cache status, uh, log status config no cache. So this basically means that that response is configured to never cache. Um, if I wanted to see like what's the, the full URL uh, here it is. Uh, if I wanted to see, like, you know, what can I find out about errors? Proxy hard error. There was no hard error, meaning that, like, the, um, the edge connected to the proxy just fine. It's just that the proxy, or the, sorry, not the proxy, the origin. The edge connected to the origin just fine, but the origin itself returned a 500 error. So basically, like, this indicates that the problem is on the origin end, uh, and I need to go um, debug that as a user of the, the platform on my own software. Um, so this can be a really helpful tool for debugging 
issues like in the moment as they arise because it gives you every request um, and the information flows in like very quickly. Uh, here, if you want to see how quickly, let's do a test. Um, let me switch over to the website and just give it a uh, request that should be pretty easy to find. So let's open up Edge Insights for the main www.mockaroo.com and then let's like filter by path, URL path, and let's do slash hello, which doesn't exist on mockaroo.com, but uh, I should get a 404 when I try to access it. So I should see no requests here. And here, let's have it, let's put it in refresh mode. Let's just refresh like every two seconds. Okay, you can see nothing coming through. Uh, let's go to www.mockroo.com slash hello. So 404 not found, and let's see when it comes into the logs. There we go. So let me stop refreshing. Uh, that was like what, five seconds? I mean, you're talking about needle in a haystack. That was one request, came through, we were in refresh mode, it came through in like five seconds, and then now I could actually debug information about that request. Hmm, where was it coming from? It's coming from our pop uh, in the middle of Europe, which is what I expect because I'm in Estonia. And um, let's see what we could see about it, like user agent uh, coming from all that, which is Chrome, if you translate that down. Um, you know, you get this really rich information about requests like in real time. So imagine that you know, your site's down or it's doing something that you don't expect. You don't have to go and go to some third party tool or ingest like CSV logs and start poking around in them. You just open Edge Insights and you can literally see every request coming through even if it's, the problem is occurring frequently or very infrequently. Um, you can use the tool to find that needle in the haystack and, um, and debug your issue.